Hello guys, this is DJ and for this video, I want to share with you how to set up a secure client meeting or even a team meeting if you are having a meeting with your team. Um, you just simply using a password and of course a specialized um, personal meeting ID or personal, personalized meeting ID uh, via Zoom. So um, again, all you need to do is just open your Zoom app and when you open your Zoom app, um, this orange button right here will be, will be saying new meeting. It's just going to back to meeting because uh, we're recording this. And this join meeting will be active and share screen will be active. But what you need to do is to focus on this little calendar right here that says schedule. So you click it. And when you click that calendar, you can um, name the topic. So it's better if you name the topic, rename the topic. Let's say it's presentation with Mike. And let's say you'll be having a presentation on April 15th. And it will be, let's say, 4 p.m. And ending time will be 5.30. It doesn't really matter the ending time. And then um, in the second portion, you will see that there's a meeting ID. You can choose to use a personal meeting ID or to generate automatically. I would suggest that you would use the, you would want to generate automatically so that it will have a specialized meeting ID for that certain session only. And then it's better if you click on the require meeting password. And then let's say you type in SB2020, whatever alphanumeric, alphanumeric or, uh, password that you elect to use. And then for the video, it's also good that you on set your video to on and also the participants if you want it. If you want to, if you don't want to see your participants, um, then you can turn it off, but it's better if you turn it on. And then for audio, just let it be telephone and computer audio. And then you can also connect it with your calendar, with your iCalendar if you're using an Apple device or a Google Calendar. So me, what I usually do is I connect it with my Gmail account. Um, so that it will prompt you. Uh, you can have it connected directly to your Google Calendar if you're using that. And then for the advanced options, you click it. And then I would usually do is, what I would usually do is just click on the mute participants on entry. So I would like that to do so that if they are having a hard time, they are automatically muted. And then, um, you can choose to enable waiting room or not. I don't usually do that so that people get in automatically. Um, I don't need to approve them. But if you may, if you want to approve them, then it's it also added adds a more secure option because if you don't know that person, if you're having a group meeting and if you don't know that person, then you may choose not to accept this person so that you will not be bombarded by unwanted videos or unwanted participants. Um, I also do not check the enable join before host so that I, I'm sure that I'm there before the participants get there. Um, and then, yeah, uh, the automatically record meeting, I don't usually do that because I only want to record portions that I really want to be recorded. Uh, so it saves up, save, saves up uh, space for my computer. So, and then you click on schedule. So when you click on schedule, it will actually go to your Google account. So you don't, we don't need to do that right now, but you can choose to, to click on the calendar that is connected to you, uh, to your computer or to your phone. And then um, to edit and to get those details, what you can do is click on the meetings tab. And you, when you click on the meetings tabs, you can see all your scheduled meetings. So I have a scheduled meeting today, later this afternoon. So that's the meeting that, uh, we're having, and then on Wednesday, the one we scheduled, uh, the presentation with Mike is you can you can see that it's there. So you can choose to edit if you have to edit something like the time or even the password, whatever. Um, so you can still edit it uh, uh, up until it starts on Wednesday, and then you can also choose to click on the copy on invitation, and this is what you need to do. So you just click on the copy invitation. It will show that it has been copied to your clipboard. So in that way, you can actually um, 
go to your um, to your group or to whatever group that is, and then you can actually share that post. Right? Share that post to your group if you're having a group meeting or if to your client. So let's say uh, this is your client's um, Facebook page or Facebook account. Then what you can do is you delete the things below that you don't need. So I'll show, show, you, show that to you again. You can delete everything up until the password part, like here. And then um, you can leave this link here and then up to the topic. And then on top, you can have a personalized message like, hello, Mike. Uh, here are the details for our Zoom meeting on Wednesday. Excited to talk to you. So, and that's what you can do. So here's a simple message. You have the your your greetings, then the topic, the time is here, um, the link. They can use that, and then the meeting ID and the password. So when you share this to them, they can join in and use the meeting ID, and then they will be asked to enter the password. Um, they can also click the link, and then they will open their Zoom app, and then they will also be asked to enter the password. So they, all, they have all the details that they need in order for you to meet one another, to meet each other uh, via Zoom. So that's, that's uh, how easy it is. Um, you just need to make sure that you schedule the meeting. You use the schedule part and not the new meeting part because uh, scheduling is, even if let's say you'll be having the meeting right now. So schedule it probably five minutes after or in, in five minutes, schedule it in five minutes so that um, you can use the schedule portion and then you can elect to have a password. It would be better, it will be more secure. You will uh, have a better chances of you not having unwanted viewers or visitors and participants and sharing you unwanted videos in your meeting. So you will not be shocked because at least your meeting is more secure than ever. So. Um, that's just it. If you have questions, you can uh, ask me. Um, and again, uh, thank you very much for listening.